it active. You want to get things started? Get things started. Whoa. 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 Hey guys, what's up? It's Matthew Davis, me once again, and welcome to the June uh, monthly vlog. Um, it's Pride Month, so uh, yeah, there's going to be... Whoa, Lecter. Okay, that's enough. So yeah, there's going to be bound to be some... Uh, some crazy things going on this month because of that, but, uh, anyways, I support it, so, yeah, hope all you LGBT2 or members are, uh, um, are ready for this month because, uh, yeah, this is going to be the perfect month for you. I'm not part of the community, but, uh, I do support you 100%. By the way, that's the coffee maker, so, yeah, but anyways, we're going to meet up with my, with my brother and his kids, um, my nephew's birthday is about to come up. Uh, that my mom's birthday is coming up before that, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna be celebrating her birthday tomorrow, we're gonna be celebrating my nephew's birthday today, so, yeah, there's stuff to look forward to this month. Come on, Hector, trying to get comfortable, even though it's morning, it's not really the time to be comfortable, it's the time to be getting up. So yesterday, um, when I got home, I randomly decided to just uh, make pavlova because since I was actually able to succeed at it uh, last time, then I figured why not make a video of it because that's originally what I was going to do when I was making the Shadowland cupcakes. Um, I actually made this for my nephew for his birthday. He doesn't know about it yet. Um, he's, he's, a, he's kind of a picky eater. Like, there are some desserts he won't eat, like uh, pudding. Um, but just in case, you know, I mean, his parents will probably eat it, uh, he has an older sister who's twice his age, so she'll probably eat it, but, yeah, they don't know about this, plus, we're, they're having cake too, so, you know, but, I, I just wanted to make this because, well, I don't know, I, 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 I just wanted to make this for a cooking video, but I figured, you know, since his birthday's coming up and we're going to his party, um, I got a big present right here. Um, yeah, I kind of went a little overboard with this one, um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with how this turned out, so, yeah, I, I don't know what type of, type of fruits he likes, but I know someone will eat it. So my mom's birthday was today, um, I, uh, did give her something, I gave her a t-shirt with chili on it, because, you know, I get, my, my dad has shirts with bandit on it, so, yeah, it would only make sense, because, uh, yeah. Usually, I've been getting the shirts for my dad, so, yeah, I found one at Hot Topic, so, yeah, it's really nice to see Hot Topic uh, paying more attention to what uh, adults like, like, uh, you know, adult-themed uh, kid shows, you know, you, you, you get what I mean, because there's pretty much, like, no children's uh, clothing in the, sh in the shop, I, I, as far as I know, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really nice to know. Anyways, I'm playing more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I'm like more than halfway done with it, though I'm still trying to take my time with it because I, I'm trying to 100% everything because I'm really, really digging this game. Like, I'm so glad that it, we finally got it. I'm at a part where you have to tell this girl I love you like 99 times. Like, I just love this game, sense of humor. Just the fact that Mario sleeps throughout a lot of these com types of conversations, even with his brother. It's. It's it's hilarious. It's it's filler, but hilarious. <sighs> I'm trying to upload my or trying to put in the files for my spring rolls for my spring rolls video, but my charging port is not working right. Like it's charging very slowly, and now it won't even connect to my laptop. So I could just get a new phone, but I'm worried if the videos aren't going to transfer, then uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So. I'm very nervous right now, but I'm just hoping to God that I can get this fixed. Because, man, I I worked hard on these videos. I work really hard on these videos, and I would hate for something to happen to them. Yeah, so pretty much uh, I'm not going to be uh, recording with this f uh, phone much longer. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to get one in like a couple weeks, because usually my dad helps me with that. but. Uh, in the meantime, I could say that I finished It Takes Two, or me and my friend uh, finished It Takes Two, and uh, yeah, we both loved it. This is such a fun and 
it's such an engaging game too. I really like the story. I really like the two main leads and I really like their chemistry. It's comedic despite the fact that they're going through a divorce. I just loved that, uh, you know, the fact that they had to work together to get out of the situation they're in. It's perfect for pretty much any friend, but it's mostly for couples pretty much. But even if you even if you're not a couple, it's 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 definitely worth playing. I had such a fun time. We both did. It's I can see why it won game of the year, you know, it's and it's not too hard to figure out either. That was one thing I was worried about, but we never had to look up a walkthrough. It was it was pretty straightforward. So yeah, definitely I'm glad I'm glad we finally got to play this game because it's three years old, holy crap, but yeah, such a wonderful game. We need more games like this, seriously. So I have to take a break from uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, though I have gotten pretty far into it, so it's cool if I take a break because um, um, I'm renting another game from Gameplay, Princess Peach Showtime. I, I don't know, I, I just figured because, you know, it's usually when it comes to one of those new Nintendo spinoff games, I'll tend to rent them. I heard they're not fantastic or anything like that. I mean, I'm, I'm having somewhat a bit of fun with it. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm having Chinese for lunch, and um, I'm having the spring rolls that I made to go with them. Mm-hmm. Even good after the next day. Yeah, this is one of the more easier games I played from Gamefly. Like, I beat it in, like, six hours. I didn't complete everything because I didn't really care about that. All, all I really cared about was beating it. And, yeah, um, it has probably one of the easiest final bosses that I've ever fought. I mean, there were sections to the game that were... Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say difficult or just, like... Yeah, Lecter, I know you need food. I'll get you food in a minute. Like, slightly... I don't know how to put it, but it's not that hard. But... Now that I'm done with this game, I can go back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, again, still not trying to rush through the game because I'm really digging the story and the characters. So, yeah, I'm, I'm close to finishing it, but I don't want to try finishing it anytime soon. Though, I do want to review the game. I really, really want to review it because I have quite a bit to say. So those leftover spring roll wrappers, I actually put into good use. I made like a breakfast uh, spring roll. I just put like eggs, bacon bits, spinach in there. So, yeah. Yeah, I just I didn't want I didn't want them to go away, so Yeah, that's really good. Coffee machine going on in the background. This is why there should really be a Chinese uh breakfast menu. Because this would be perfect for that. Somebody likes watching me play Mario Thousand Year Door. You are so lucky you don't have to work this summer. Now you just get to chill at home, doing whatever you want. Yeah, it's gonna be, well, I'm not sure how busy it's gonna be since there hasn't been that many box office hits this year, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, maybe Inside Out 2 will pick back up then again. Uh, I mean, Elemental supposedly did bomb, but, I don't know, boosted up a little bit. I wouldn't, I still wouldn't necessarily say it was a success, but who knows? I mean, I, I'm just hoping Inside Out 2 is good, because I do have my doubts. I mean, I expect it to at least be good. I just, I just don't expect it to top that first masterpiece. But anyways, uh, tonight after work, I'm going to be seeing Bad Boys Ride or Die. It's been a couple weeks since I did a review, so yeah, I'm finally going to be doing more reviews. Actually, I didn't review any movies this month yet, so yeah, that's hopefully that's a good start. So I was, so I was able to get off work like halfway through my shift because there wasn't that many people. Um, though the later shifts, they started getting in more people, but because of that, I saw Bad Boys uh, a little bit earlier. It wasn't too bad. Um, I definitely liked the last movie a bit more, but it's almost on par because, uh, it's really not anything super spectacular. I mean, it's fun. That's the best way I can describe it. It's, it's fun, and Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, they are, they have great chem chemistry together, so they definitely keep it from being a 
you know, a doll film, so, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get me some Chinese, and I'm gonna burn off the calories all the way home. I literally spent the whole day making this cake. I could have just waited till Father's Day, because I'm uploading the video on Father's Day, uh, the one I make this cake, but was it worth it? Yeah, I'd say so. It looks uh, pretty decent. Um, it's said to use licorice for the eyes, but I just use frosting because I don't really like licorice, so... Yeah, not too shabby. Real, this is some pretty good cake. Well, <laughs> its ass is completely gone now. <laughs> Yeah, we'd pretty much just been eating duck ass. So Matthew Bailey came over so we could do a skit for uh, when uh, I review Inside Out 2. And yes, I bought a green screen uh, just to do that skit. But hey, I have a green screen now, so I could pretty much do anything. I could say that I went to another video game or I went to the moon. That's actually a pretty good idea. But yeah, um, after we did the skit, um, we went out and um, he took me over to the Barnes & Noble and I was able to pick this up. I actually had my eyes on this one, but I, I did not know when to get it because um, this had an easier version or an easy-ish version of the uh, Undertale butterscotch cake, but I mean, cake pie. But um, yeah, I, this has like tons of different uh, foods from video games. There's one I want to make. I'm going to try get her, getting the ingredients uh, for that later. Um, but yeah. Uh, Tonight I'm seeing uh, the Studio Ghibli uh, 10th anniversary release of when Marnie was there. Um, so yeah, more Ghibli Fest. I'm going to try getting uh, seeing the ones uh, for the movies that I didn't see in the theater yet. So yeah, because that's pretty much my goal when they release these movies, to see every single one of them in the theater. It, I mean, I don't really need to see Tales from Earthsea or Your Wake and the Witch. But, I don't know, maybe I'm a, I might just see them just in case. But, hey, Earwig was pretty bad, so I, I doubt they're going to re-release that. Oh, yes! I also went to Walmart, and if you remember in the last vlog, when I got some bluey uh, men's sleeping pants from uh, Target, well... Walmart has some too now! They, had, they, 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 didn't, they didn't have them in medium sizes, but I couldn't resist. I did not care what the size was, but... Yeah, um, I think it's just, I don't think Chili's on this one, it's just, well, it would make sense because these are men's pants, but, yeah, pretty much dad pants right here, but, yeah, I am so happy with how, with how they're actually putting in Bluey-themed stuff for adults, because that just shows that it's for everyone. The experience of when Marnie was there was, uh, another fantastic Ghibli experience on the, on the big screen. Yeah, today I'm gonna be, uh, making a cake. Um, for, um, for my next cooking video, um, I know I, I haven't uploaded the duck cake video, but I'm saving that one for Father's Day. This cake I'm actually going to be saving for Father's Day, um, so yeah, I'm not going to eat till my dad comes over, though I will taste test it, just to be sure. Alright, so I got, uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door all finished up, uh, it took me a few tries with the final boss. But, uh, hey, I powered up some and uh, was able to finish it because this game is just too good not to want to try and finish. Um, I honestly want to go back and try completing every single thing, like get all the badges. I know that's probably going to be impossible, but uh, some people have done it and managed to succeed at it. But just I had a blast with this. I'm so glad Nintendo finally answered our prayers and gave us this incredible remake. So I meant to post this yesterday um, for the vlog, but uh, yesterday I made a lie known as the cake from Portal, which is literally just called the cake, but this took me forever to make. If you saw my uh, my uh, cooking video on this, uh, yeah, like this chocolate stuff, I had to sprinkle this on, like grate it with the cheese grater for like 30 minutes, and it was a pain. Like I had to like tip it over, make sure it didn't fall out, so... Yeah, um, oh man, there are some parts that, uh, I may have missed, but, you know what, I don't care. I don't care, it's already made, and, uh, it does, it definitely doesn't have to look perfect. Actually, yeah, whatever, as long, as long as it looks, uh, uh, strong. Like, I could have just used chocolate sprinkles because it said it makes it, makes it uh, a lot easier, but that's okay. I'm still proud of this lie. So I'm seeing Inside Out 2 tonight. 
actually it's more like midday or okay the afternoon because um I'm seeing the four o'clock uh, 3D showing. I don't really need to say what time at all well, because it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna walk over there because uh, theater is really close by, and I have been walking over there a lot. But yeah, thankfully, you know, I did have my fears, but thankfully, I'm hearing that it's actually really good. Not as good as the original, but uh, I didn't really expect it to be as good as the original. But I have been hearing that it's really good. Because, you know, with Pixar's track record recently with Lightyear and Elemental not reaching the same heights as their other films, this one is at least smart. Because that's one thing I expected. Because it's Inside Out and it's a genius movie. So hopefully this will have genius elements as well. And it is having that from what I'm hearing. Like your boy. Your doom boy. Great news. Inside Out was at or Inside Out 2 was really good. Really, really good. So, um, yeah, I was very anxious about it because I, I, I was hoping because of Pixar's track record, but it doesn't matter. I, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I, there's, there's pretty much almost nothing to worry about. I mean, there are, I mean, it doesn't have as much as the, you know, the, tear-jerking stuff as in the first, but I definitely still think it's worth your time. So I did get another game from Gamefly, but I haven't played it for less than an hour, and I immediately stopped. It's actually the new System Shock uh, remake. Um, I really, really wanted to get into this. I had it on the lowest difficulty, but I was just confused on what to do, and I just kept dying repeatedly, and there's this long game over screen. Yes, I could skip it, but... I don't know, it's just, I don't really have time to get, you know, sh to struggle so much with this game as my dad's going to be coming over later uh, for Father's Day, so yeah, I, but you know what, that's okay, the last game I did manage to beat, which was Princess Peach Showtime, obviously, but that's okay, I, I really wanted to get into this one, but it just, I, I don't know what it is, I really wanted to get into System Shock 2, I did get further into that, but Again, it, it's really hard for me to know what exactly I'm supposed to do because, you know, even on low difficulty, it's still really hard to get into. Like, I will say, though, there were often times where it was funny in a good way, but I really wanted to see more of that. But I don't know. It's it, it's OK. It's not really a big deal. Also, about that cake, it got me in a mood to play the Portal games again because I had them for <laughs> Victor. I had them for Xbox 360 though I don't really use Xbox 360 anymore, and uh, I stated that Portal 2 is one of my all-time favorite games, so thankfully they're released on the Nintendo Switch, so why not get them for Nintendo Switch? Apparently the only way to play them on modern consoles is for Nintendo Switch. I don't, I don't see, I don't get why they aren't on PS5 or Xbox Series X, but that's okay. As long as uh, I got a Switch, then I can play them on modern hard hardware. Also, I told my dad that the cake was a lie and he told me I had to explain that thing to him so I felt feel like when I when he comes here I could play the game so he'll know what I meant by the cake is a lie the game is very short too so you know and that's not a lie <laughs> actually funny thing when I did the short of the cake being a lie a lot of people did not understand it well not a lot just a few people didn't understand it a few did but I I really wish I didn't have to explain. It's an old, old classic meme. Well, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm, of course, talking to you, Bandit, too. How many games should we play? Well, we can't play any games right now because uh, we got, uh, I got plans with my dad and actually family, too. Like, uh, I'm going to be seeing my nephew and my niece. Uh, so, yeah, a whole gang of fathers today. So, yeah, um, I slept here... I slept in, I actually have this shirt on, you know, so, yeah, um, I, I slept in here last night, usually I wouldn't stay on the bed, but, uh, I did, because I couldn't take it anymore, it's super comfortable, but, you know, I, I I'll have a fun time trying to re reset that, but anyways, um, I gotta upload my Duck K video, and, um, this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna be, uh, or, um, this is gonna be the last, um, this clip, this is the last clip I'm ever going to be using this phone for because I got a new phone 
uh, because uh, this one doesn't connect to my laptop anymore for some reason. So, so I got a new phone. It's got a hell of a lot of data on it. So, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I don't know what the quality is yet, but hopefully I can transfer my data from this phone to that phone. So that way I won't have to worry about it anymore because I've been worrying about it for a week. Um, but yeah. All right, so I'm recording this now. This is my new phone. This right here is my old phone. Yeah, I love the quality. The quality actually looks really good. I really hope it doesn't take up too much data space. If it does, I think I can just uh, go into settings and go for a lower quality because I just, but I did connect it to my laptop. It works. So yeah, it did take me a, a while to get like uh, everything the way I want it uh, because uh, yeah, now I can use this phone for skits. So yeah. So yeah, hopefully I'll have fun with this. Also, my uh, my uh, data, all my photos and videos, they're they're still on here. So yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about because of the files for you know the this this month's monthly vlog. So yeah. So remember in my review for Inside Out 2 when I said uh, I didn't really have that much high hope for the box office numbers because this movies have been bombing this year. Yeah, I had nothing to worry about because. Uh, yeah, this one kind of broke records. <laughs> now we're getting back on track. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up saving uh, Disney and Pixar because, wow. Yeah. Shows that people still care. But anyways, I was trying to look for a Legend of Zelda shirt, but um, the ones that I found were either too small, the picture didn't look good enough, or I just couldn't find a good enough one. So the closest thing I found was a Pokemon shirt because, you know, that's Nintendo, so... Yeah, it's for uh, another cooking video. I actually did make the uh, boluses from uh, Elden Ring. They're actually really good. I do have a video on that, so uh, yeah, you can uh, you probably already saw it. Though I don't know if that many people care, but reviews for the DLC will come out today, so I'm really interested in what people will say. I'm sure it's going to be really good. I was just supposed to look for a shirt, but then uh, we went to the mall, and uh, Hot Topic has uh, these for men. Um, yeah, I was at the mall trying to look for a shirt, but yeah, it's nice to know how much uh, Hot Topic knows how much uh, adults love Bluey. So, yeah, but that's not all. Um, they also had um, hats. So this is a bandit one. They do have chili ones. Um, so yeah, that's perfect for you and your mate. Uh, did I just say that in an Australian accent? But whatever. Coles had, um, portraits, like canvases that you can put on your wall. Like, there's that big one right there. And, um, there's a small one, a small, uh, like, I don't know, fabric one, though. I noticed that this one with Bingo, she's supposed to be holding a cupcake, but it's literally behind her hand. Well, that's okay. I mean, this box makes it look like that Bluey's teeth haven't been brushed in weeks. Uh, so, yeah. Also, they had, uh, those weren't the only ones. They also had uh, those two right there. And, uh, was that it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Also, they had this, um, this, like, uh, plush uh, throw blanket thing. Um, you can uh, take her arms and legs off and, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really need this because I have so many other plushies like that. But yeah, anyways, I got to put this bed back together because my dad was supposed to leave yesterday, um, but he decided to stay another day. Um, so yeah, now I got to make this bed and, uh, yeah. Okay. So I should probably talk about, uh, the Nintendo Direct, uh, Metroid Prime 4 has finally been revealed. We finally got a trailer. It's going to be released in 2025. I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of the new launch titles or going to be one of the new launch titles for Nintendo's next console because I feel like that's what it's going to be. But, yeah, um, we do have Metroid Prime Remastered for Switch, but not the other two games, which is unfortunate. unfortunate but <sighs> at least we're finally going to be getting it. We waited seven years or... It's going to be seven, it's going to be 8 years next year since it won't be out till then but hey at least we know it's finally coming. We might not have uh Wind Waker HD or Twilight Princess HD uh announced but hey at least it's good to know that hey they're working on Metroid Prime 4 hopefully it'll deliver. 
I mean, the newest uh, Metroid installments have been delivering with Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime Remastered, so hopefully it will live up. Oh yeah, and a new Zelda game where we play as Zelda, coming a little bit after my birthday. <laughs> so yeah, at least we got that. I'm about to head out to see uh, The Watchers. Another movie I'm late on seeing, but, you know, Father's Day and cooking videos, and I honestly don't have to do cooking videos, but I haven't heard that many people talk about The Watchers, but I don't really have that much hope. I'm, ac I'm actually not sure if I'm going to review it. I, I, I might, just because, you know, I need to put more reviews on my channel, so, yeah, because I'm <laughs> cooking videos are kind of taking over right now, but, yeah. Yeah, the movie wasn't terrible, but honestly, I was kind of bored throughout most of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not really going to review it. So, yeah, I, honestly, I didn't really have to see it. But I, I don't know. I just, uh, uh, I'm going to be honest. I was, I was, sorry, that was my other phone. Uh, despite the fact that I don't need it anymore, there are things that I kind of do need it for for now. But there will be a point where I don't. So, yeah. Uh, what better way to end off your day than having some of the cake that was supposedly alive from Portal? I am very proud of the way I made this. Oh, and don't forget your bolus is from Elden Ring because you're going to need that when the new DLC comes out. Very satisfying. I'm very anxious right now because I just want to play the new Held and Ring DLC immediately, but just gotta wait one more day. Anyways, I'm having the leftover uh, elixir soup that I made for the uh, Legend of Zelda cooking video. Um, here's what I recommend. If it's too zesty for you, uh, if you guys try it out, then um, I recommend once you make yourself a bowl, add a bouillon cube to it. It tastes so much better like an actual soup. I mean, not, not that it was bad before. I just feel like you're able to eat more of it because, uh, yeah, it just tastes so much better. It's not something that's in the recipe, but I recommend it. Uh, well, today's the day. The Elden Ring, the, the Elden Ring DLC is finally here, and I'm going to need a lot of this. Also, I just want to say, rest in peace, Donald Sutherland. You were such a it's actually hard to believe he was because I first knew him in Invasion of the Body Snatchers but then there was also Animal House and uh, yeah I didn't realize he was in other projects too but yeah he was very talented so rest in peace so yeah. also I have another cooking video out or I'm going to be making another cooking video today so until then gotta get ready I know I'm gonna die a lot in this DLC. 50 times. I have died to the first boss 50 times. So much so that I broke one of my controllers. It looks like it's in good condition, but apparently the home button isn't working now. I knew it was gonna be hard, but my god. I want to get more into it, but Jesus Christ, and I'm trying to get other people in, but nobody is able to come in just this I, don't, I, I still am not going to understand how I was able to beat Orphan of Cost on my first try from Bloodborne uh he honestly, the first boss honestly makes Melania Blade of Mikola look easier than the covetous demon from Dark Souls 2. And I have to make a cooking video so I can't waste my time. Now I gotta... I am just... Jeez. Alright, update. I did beat the boss, but I'm still not very happy because I have to get another controller now. Ugh. And it doesn't even give that much uh, runes. Just 90,000. Yeah. How was that even a first boss? I don't... 
I'm just glad I can make more progress now. But I'm gonna have to take a break because I have a another cooking video I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm seeing the 25th anniversary re-release of well. I'll give you guys a hint. Yeah, uh, my dad's taking me to see it, even though he doesn't have to, but he is. Um, but when, uh, just a year before I was born, when the movie came out, he took my brother to see it. Technically, my dad is his uh, stepfather because, well, it's kind of complicated. We're both brothers from other mothers, pretty much. No, 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 same mother, other fathers, I mean, just... So yeah, he was like 14, so my dad took him to see it, so years later, he's taken me to see it. 25 years later, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a sing-along, so yeah, just, yeah, I'm just, it's just hard to believe I'm actually going to see this on the big screen. I've been re-watching South Park recently, so, you know, just so I can take a little break from the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. It's, it's awesome, no doubt, but man is it difficult. The second boss gave me even more trouble than the first one. But hey, I'm, s I'm still going to continue playing it. Yeah, apparently Inside Out 2 is still a hit. Uh, beating out uh, Barbie's uh, second uh, opening weekend. Yeah, it's really nice to know, but yeah, like I said, I'm about to see South Park Bigger Longer Uncut on the big screen, just like... This honestly feels like something I've seen in my dreams. Just like, yeah, but I got my shirt on like I mentioned before. Though I have a bandit healer hat on that I got from Hot Topic just because, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a really cool experience. I can't believe I actually just saw South Park on the big screen. Um, there were other people like wearing shirts. Uh, uh, two people were wearing a uh, Stan and Kyle hat. Uh, yeah, it's such a great experience. Oh, and this week it's coming out on 4K uh, Ultra HD, and uh, you bet your asses that I'm going to be getting it. Because, yeah, the better the picture, and uh, the fact I can just hold on to it, not worry about freaking streaming, even though I already have the Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, I'm fine with double dipping. So a lot of people have been review bombing the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC on Steam. I wouldn't be uh, I, I didn't check Metacritic, but I'm pretty sure they're going to review bomb it there too. But, you know, just saying that's too hard. While, yes, I did struggle on a lot of the bosses, there were a couple that took me one try. They weren't the main bosses, but, yeah, Hector. Hector. But, I, I think the DLC is awesome. And um, there is ways of making it easier because there are these, like, fragments that you can get that can boost up your strength permanently without having to constantly level up over and over it, 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 I, I definitely saw a difference. So, yeah, I think it's great, and I am going to play more of it. Mm. Just going to do a quick workout first. That's why I have my Celsius here. Yeah, I still drink this stuff, even though I don't really need to anymore, but I do it because, you know, it's really good. I skipped a few days, but uh, it's kind of a long story. I don't really want to mention it now, but I'm seeing Quiet Place Day 1 in IMAX, so, uh, yeah. It's pretty quiet right now, so hopefully no creatures with very good hearing come and attack us. So yeah, the movie was really good. Oh, and the cat doesn't die! Yes! Yes, 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 cats are staying alive this year! Where am I handsome boy at? Hey, Nectar. Hey there, my good little boy. Nectar, my nectar boy, my nectar boy. So I'm just gonna tell you why I haven't, uh, why I skipped out on a few days. It's just. A couple days ago, me and my sister were hanging out because we don't get to hang out as much anymore because I'm living in my new place, which I can't believe I've been living in for two months now. And anyways, um, so we were driving, we were doing some DoorDash, you know, get some get some money, and um, it was going to be a new tradition. But then we got into an accident, 
Now, um, I didn't injure anything. Like, I'm perfectly fine. Well, I thought I was until I got home and, well, just when I was about to, you know, get some ingredients for my upcoming, uh, for my next upcoming, uh, recipe video, something happened in the bathroom, which I'm not going to mention, which caused me to have to go to the hospital. And yeah, it was due to the accident. I'm not going to say what it was because it's kind of embarrassing and I don't want to get this video the yellow dollar sign. So yeah, it's, um, it's something that I don't really want to talk about, but I am all right. It's just, um, that's one of those rare situations and I'm not going to, yeah, my, my sister's okay too. Um, and, um, but, but yeah, um, th this is kind of why I don't have my license yet. I wasn't driving my sister was, she has her license. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I don't have my license yet, but do I still plan to get it? Well, hopefully, but it's not going to happen anytime soon, but that's okay. As long as I, as long as I can still get to places, then I'm fine. So yeah, even if I have to pay an Uber, but yeah, it's something that I didn't really want to mention, but I feel like I should. Because this is a vlog, after all, and I can talk about more than just movie stuff. And just showing off my cat. Even though that's... That's far more wholesome than what I'm talking about right now. So I made the sea salt ice cream recipe from Kingdom Hearts. I'm not going to upload the video until, um, around the beginning of July. Because I said I wasn't going to have, uh, any more cooking videos out until afterwards. Technically, it, well, okay. It sort of was was cooking because I had to heat up the mixture in a pan, so technically it was cooking, just it didn't come out uh, heated up because, well, it's ice cream. But anyways, I've uh, been continuing on to playing more of the uh, Elden Ring uh, DLC. I've still been getting my ass handed to me, but I've been making a little bit of progress as, at a time. I've beaten two more uh, main bosses, so that's something. Alright, so, it's the end of the monthly vlog, so, um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I bought that ice cream machine for pretty much nothing, because I was going to use that for, well, um, I haven't explained it yet, because I haven't uploaded the Kingdom Hearts uh, cooking video, but I, I'll explain it best uh, when I do upload it. I'll have it up out probably tomorrow, or maybe the second. But, um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to have breakfast, and I have to edit this video out, so... Yeah, it's my least favorite thing to do when it comes to these monthly vlogs, and the fact that we're almost in July, so, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, not much else to say, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.